There are people making thousand dollars a month creating content. But in this video, I'm going to share the one thing that they are missing. In this video, I'll be sharing a strategy that a lot of social media managers and video agencies are missing in terms of creating content for their clients. One of the things that I found for these individuals who are creating content for other people is that they are very video heavy. A lot of times people are always considering that video editing that goes into things and not necessarily wanting to do that work. So a lot of video is being pushed over and over again and also a lot of new content. Well, the concept that I'm talking about today is going to be repurposing. So not only are a lot of social media managers and content agencies video heavy, but they also don't utilize the video that they've created and repurpose it in an effective way that will help their clients increase their content overall. If you want to get a jump start on repurposing your content, go ahead and grab my free ebook on 10 places that you can start repurposing your content. So let me share a little bit more about myself, how I got started on this content journey and with repurposing. I'm a former traditional educator. I taught physical education for 10 years. And one of the things that I feel like is undervalued a lot are educators. We are some of the most creative and effective content creators on the planet. So let me put it in perspective. So I taught physical education at the elementary level and I was responsible for giving information and lessons to seven different grade levels. That's KG1, KG2, one through five, okay? Seven different grade levels. Now I might be leading a lesson on similar fundamentals when it comes to sport related activities, but everybody had a different expectation. So let's take the game of basketball. I would never go into a lesson and say, we're gonna play basketball today because everybody understood basketball at a different level. So what I would have to do is break it down fundamentally and according to the standard. So my KG1s might literally just be learning how to drop a ball and catch it in two hands, whereas my fifth graders might need to be able to bounce a ball and move forward and backward direction. So I had different expectations for everyone, even though we were learning the same particular concept about a similar sport. It's the same thing when it comes to content. So while I had to deliver and provide different expectations for my children, we were all talking about the same thing. The key thing is here that not only did I have to present it in different ways, but also for age appropriateness, right? So my kindergartners cannot read, but my fifth graders should be able to. So I was creating video, audio, written, and images for instructions for the students to be able to understand what I needed from them. And this is exactly what I do when it comes to content repurposing. I take the overall core information that I want to share with people and I turn it into different content formats. While we're here, let me share a little bit about a program that I'm going to be launching at the end of this week called Content Repurposing Camp. And what this camp will do is show you how to show up online consistently without creating new content by way of repurposing. If you take a look in the description box, you'll see a link where you can go ahead and get on the wait list so you can get updates on when you can actually register. So let's bring it back to our social media managers and content agencies and why I feel like they're missing out on content repurposing. Let's think of it this way. If you have an agency or manager that's always giving you new scripts and new things to do month after month, and you've created things that you've never actually reposted, reused, or recycled in a way, you are missing out on the opportunity to be even more consistent than you are today. Even if they are giving you 30 posts a month, and it might be video related, it might be something else, being able to use the content that you've created with them already and turn it into different formats will allow you to show up even more. So if you wanted to bump it up to twice a day or maybe even, you know, five times a week, if you're only doing three times a week, you have those opportunities when you have a content repurposing strategy. Now, I know you might be thinking, why would I repurpose when what we're doing is working just fine? Well, here are a few reasons why. Repurposing your content helps build your expertise. It shows people that you know what you're talking about over and over again. The next thing you have the opportunity to do is revise what you've already created. You can look at your analytics and see what performed well, and you can either repost it, you can remake it, or you can turn it into a different format to share with your audience again. Another opportunity that you have is to just change it into a different learning style. Some of us like to watch videos. Some of us like to read text. Some of us like to listen, and some of us like to look at graphics. Turning your content into different learning styles help engage different people in your audience and you're not just giving them what you decide that you want to show. So who was content repurposing most suitable for? Well, it's suitable for everyone, but specifically personal brands and businesses, people with a core message like speakers or businesses that have certain products and services that they always are 
on sale or on display or wanting to demonstrate to people so that they can grow their brand awareness. If you are a personal brand or a business and you're looking for ways to start repurposing content today, go ahead and grab my free ebook where I give you 10 different places that you can start repurposing your content. So what we discussed today is the fact that there's lots of social media managers and content agencies that are making money hand over foot by creating new content for you over and over. But by repurposing, you have the opportunity to not only increase consistency and brand awareness, but you also get to take some of the pressure off by not always having to create new content. I encourage you all to go and visit my social media pages at Abby Teaching Afar or Modern Day Unicorns to see how I manipulate my podcast and my content in multiple different ways to allow myself to be even more consistent. Now make sure you tune in tomorrow where I'm going to release part two of this three-part video series where I'm going to tell you the things that you need to know as a beginner when it comes to content repurposing. Don't forget to check the link in the description below to go ahead and sign up for the waitlist for the content repurposing camp that will be opening up for enrollment soon. I'll see ya.